All right, trying to find the maximum value inside of an array, right? What's the maximum array element? Uh, this is an interesting algorithm. Um, to do this, uh, a good way to do this is to assume that the first element is the maximum value. Just say, you know what, let's just say the first value is the highest value. And then we can loop through the rest of the array and compare it to what we have currently saved as our maximum value, right? In this case, the first element. And then we update the maximum value when you find a value larger than the current maximum. And then once you've gone through the entire array, your maximum value should be the largest one, right? Because you've updated it, you've compared it to each one. So if we take a look at an example of that, so I would start by looking at the seven here, and I'm gonna assume, I'm gonna to go to my max here, and I'm gonna assume I'm gonna save seven as my maximum value. Or I'm just gonna say this is the first element, I'm gonna assume it's the maximum. Then I loop through the rest of the values. Right? So starting at the 9, I'd say, well, is 9 bigger than my maximum? Sure is. So i got to update this variable to 9. Then I go to the 2. Nope, that's not bigger than my maximum. 10, oh, that is bigger. So we got to update this to 10. All right. And then we go to the 5. No, that's not bigger. Then we go to the 11. Yep, that's bigger. And we change this to an 11. And then the 8 is not larger. And then I'm at the end of the loop. Right? I've checked every element, so I'm guaranteed that 11 is my maximum. Ta da! Right, so starting off with a value that you can compare things to, right? Start off with the 7 as your max, loop through the rest of the values, and whenever you find an element larger than what your current maximum is, you just update this variable. And then this variable should store your maximum once you're done. Okay, I hope that made sense. Have fun.